light camera action fun things to do in the atl i went to the atlanta botanical garden to feed my eyes to see i have never been there i live 45 minutes away from atlanta and i am so shocked i've never been here I went with my bull thing and we decided to explore the area. As we were told, it was a 30 acre. The ticket in was about $30 per person and about $23 for kids under the age of two. I mean, above the age of two. Under the age of two is free. And we get a map that help us stay to the stay on track and know where we're going. And I got some damn heels on. No one told me. I didn't get a memo that I was going to walk that long. I was trying to pull it off. We went through everything. So, let me feed you right in. We started our walk from the Annie Cox Chamber Garden. And we were going through the Camellia Walk. And we saw the trolls would work. It was so beautiful we went through the bridge we went through the candida canopy walk it was so beautiful we went through the um garden tunnel that is the ga uh, garden tunnel i like that when you make a sound it echoes about three four times and you could hear yourself back and this canopy tunnel takes us straight to the reason why we were here the earth goddess oh my god this is a sign to see, a beautiful view to behold. First of all, starting from her hair, she is giving me different color vibe. And the summer is making all those plants very, very colorful. It was well done. The waterfall was so beautiful. We could just sit there all day. And look at my Snapchat filter, give her an eyelash. That was so beautiful. So I was feeling myself. I was, you know, trying to keep it up because my feet were hurting. But guess what? I was still pulling it off like a lady. I went with my bull thing, took a lot of picture because I got to get my money's worth. I went through all the walks and the waterfall. And I think that waterfall is the um, gardens in Storza Woods. And that is so beautiful. We went through the John Imlay Bridge. And that's where you see that water um, directly on, on top of that bridge. Um, it is so beautiful. It is the, the, bre the breath. You could breathe in fresh oxygen. I kid you not. This plant, where, however they're keeping them up, they are doing a great job. It is fresh. And I think if you're into agriculture, if you're into the earth plants uh, or you're a botanist or I think when you come here, this is just like your heaven because then you get to see all the plants. I don't know if it's all the plants in the whole world that's there, but at least there's quite a number of plants that you get to see. And it has a name, you know, and also the botanical name that you could also make your own research for. So after we went through that part, um, the Carskate Garden and all, we took a little rest and we came back to the day hall. The day hall was actually closed. The um, Martian Hall was also closed, but we get to see the Japanese Garden. We saw the Rose Garden. It was so beautiful. And right there is the Great Lawn. It's right in front of the Fuqua Conservatory. It is so, so beautiful beautiful right in front of the um the conservatory they have a nice plant there and i tell you that tunnel is also beautiful the plant tunnel i love it it is so nice so inside of the conservatory i got to understand that not all plants are meant to be directly under the sunlight yeah duh i knew that because i got plant in the house but they have some certain weather that they have to be. Some are in a very, very, very cold weather, while some are in a room temperature weather. And that's the water lilies outside that they just grow on water without any strong root. They have a little tiny root, but not a strong one. And we went into the Fuqua Orchid Center. That is the Orchid Center. And, you know, you get to see more of those plants that you could see in the wild or something like that. But they have more plants, you know. And those plants that also grow, you know, around the house, you know, they have their names. But they are so beautiful to see all those plants and to, you know, 
see that these are just the nature that the earth actually produced if things were actually organic, if things were not colored. This is so beautiful. And these are the plants that can be inside of the house. You know, it's a very, very cold. Um, it's in a very cold degree. I think it's about 73 or 72 in there. But they made it cold. And I think I um, I get to understand. And I did some of my research and, you know, Google some plants and why they're in a cold weather, why some are hot, you know, stuff like that. And it was so beautiful. You can see the inside. It is so beautiful. They're different plant that I had never seen in my life. And after that, we went to the skyline garden the skyline garden i tell you has a lot of colorful flowers it is so beautiful they have a lot of flowers in there and they also have a conservation um garden also there and it is so beautiful it is very beautiful right behind the it's right behind the Fuqua conservatory and it is a very, th those are the flowers. I just love it. And also the mirror reflection make it look good. And the Japanese um, garden, the inspiration was very beautiful with the bamboo. I just love everything. I enjoy my money's worth. And after three hours, me and my booth, we head home.